Welcome back to Eli Works. I know it's been a long time since we've met, but we've been kind of busy and haven't got really anywhere with this plasma cutter. So we're gonna give it another try today. I'm up to 150 subscribers, so keep growing, that's good. Did a bunch of testing and then memory cards keep dropping out, so I thought, well, I'd already did a bunch of shielding and I ordered a, a different memory card reader that didn't have a screen, the SD ramps. So I put that on, but I wanted it to, I wanted the card to start reading automatically. Like, you should be able to name it auto 0.g. And when you power the machine up, it should play. <clears throat> but for some reason, mine wouldn't do that. So I just kind of gave up on that mess. Kind of my brother into buying the plasma cutter. And I bought myself this Cut 50L. So we're going to see if that does any better. Or if I'm still in the same boat I was in. But with a newer plasma cutter that probably won't last as long. Whatever size, <clears throat> whatever size one times ten millimeter squared is, I will already tell you that I don't think this is built nearly as good as my Eastwood one. A hammer to hit it with when you get tired of it sucking. Oh, follow them on uh, Facebook and get a warranty. Might have to take them up on that. Pamphlet. Tips. Well, that's not nearly as heavy duty as my last. Hey, pass quality control. And I suppose this is some sort of mask. I don't think I'm going to use that. Well, here's the Cut 50L. I suppose this is where you hook the air up, pilot arc, your ground, amp, minimum, maximum. <clears throat> 2T, 4T, you have to read more about that. That's like 2Ts, you pull the trigger, it's on, and let go, it's off, and the other one you gotta click it or something. So, the air fitting's kind of a hokey piece of crap. Sweet, it resembles uh, a normal thread. <clears throat> That's a little more handy to me than that. So I was able to use the same torch holder. It's the same torch body. Just hooked it up there. I didn't shield this one yet. I don't know if I have to. I have a ground wire running outside with a ground stake like I did before. Still all the same cables. Got the plasma cutter set up. Right now I'm running 30 amps and 30 pounds of air pressure. I still need to fine tune it, but that's pretty good yet. So I've done a few tests and uh, we'll see what we'll be able to do here today. So I had some trouble where this CNC wouldn't move. Turns out, I had a shield wire hanging off here that happened to land on the positive. Just barely touch it. It was underneath the workbench, I didn't see it. I got that working. Next, my screen didn't quit lighting up. Just, I turned it back on. Screen was just on but blank. And then it looked like a flashing light was different. Apparently, I had to reflash the Arduino. And then on top of it, I forgot to flip on this plasma cutter before I started the program. And where I said 30 amps there, it was just flash. I thought I burned it up. Shorted sure, something out, it sounded weird, but anyway, it's working now. Thank God. 
So, uh, that wasn't enough. I'm going to try and actually cut something besides a couple test pieces. <laughs> what could go wrong next? Stoke the fire on the old plasma cutter. Hearing protection on. Here's take two of this. For some reason, the program I had loaded it was the right program and everything looked good, but it sure didn't travel good. It ran really slow. So I went back to an older one and did the edits on that one and it seems to be fine, so we'll try it. We'll set it at 25 amps this time. First successful product off the MPCNC plasma cutter. Sweet. That took long enough, huh? I know I could have taken my time. Worked on this a little more and made it look a little bit better. But I got in a hurry. Got kind of antsy after all the problems I had today. Had to reflash Marlin, ruined a piece. Program was screwed up. Ran a bunch of test parts. I've been at this all day, but all in all, it looks pretty good. Success at last. Oh, well, kinda. I thought I was gonna do this in my high frequency start machine, but <laughs> that didn't work out. This cost me another eighty dollars. So I suppose you can add that to the CNC cost. I know I might have left out a few steps. Along the way, I don't, <laughs> I don't even remember where I left off the other day. That whole part, my air compressor didn't need to run. I don't even think the tank dropped 50 pounds. 75 at the maximum. This cup's still pretty warm. Well, the tip looks good. I only cut like five test pieces and then this big piece. Most of the wear is up on that collar for the arcing. You know, I can't say that that's going to last terribly long. I have no idea. But anyway, that's the Cut 50L. Straight out of China. They're kind of expensive, I think, for what they are. Like 380 bucks. I'm not an affiliate or anything. I just bought it and used it. I cut that part at 22 amps is what I ended up at. You know, if you're cutting wide open, this tip wouldn't last very long. There's a lot of other people doing this better than I am. If you had a height controller, you could do a lot finer parts. You know, a torch height controller it would never touch the material. You do a lot more detailed stuff. I could probably tighten up some of these bearings and stuff. There's a lot I could do to square it up better. I could do some more test parts. But you should probably think of fun stuff to do. You know, it's all holding up so far, but you know, I've only cut that big pile. This isn't all of it. Cut those. That. That. Then like all the ones I took my dad's and threw away. 
Finally got the wood shop sign. Shout out to our super fan Zach for watching every video we got. Thanks Zach for not having anything better to do. We appreciate it. Well, thanks for hanging in there with us to get this working. I don't know how many more videos I'll make of this machine. Probably a few. I'll um, maybe design in a few parts. I can't get too detailed without a torch height controller, but we'll have some fun. I also got a wood router in the works, so that might slow some of this down. Just hang in there and maybe I'll get more videos to you. Thanks for watching.